I am back with another live stream. How's everybody doing tonight? We are here with some more Red Dead Redemption. How's everybody doing? It was good. Last episode, uh, we got Javier. We didn't kill him, though, because that would have just felt real bad. Like I said, Javier was one of the homies uh, in RDR2, so, you know, it, it would have felt bad if, if I killed him. So we kept him alive, even though I think it was kind of a faith, faith worse than death. I probably should have killed him. It would have probably been nicer, but eh, it's too late now. It is too late now. All right, let me get all set up here, guys. You know, I got my, my, my Fanta. Ah. Uh. I always got to move my mouse and keyboard and stuff out the way. Wait, what's up, brother? Yo, Javier was, I'm telling you, I, I personally really liked Javier from Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, he, he was really good. Him and Arthur were close. You know, he, he saved John's life. If you guys don't remember, in the beginning of, uh, in the beginning of, um, the game, literally the first like mission you do when you start playing Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 is you and Javier go out uh, on a mission to find John, who literally was attacked by wolves and laying there dying. Like, you know what I mean? Um, it, 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 I, so I think John, you know, at the end of the day, he owed he owed Javier a lot, especially for that. Sunkiss or Fanta better? I, I, I honestly think they, they taste identical. I, I really don't taste the, the difference between Sunkiss or Fanta. Wanna Fanta, wanna Fanta, wanna Fanta. Hustler, I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. But I mean, I, I, drink, uh, I drink Fanta more just because it's, I don't know. Maybe because it just has a normal shaped bottle. I feel like Sunkiss has a weird shaped bottle. Is it is it just me that thinks that? Pew pew. All right, Red Dead Redemption. So, uh, yeah, we we will be playing Undead Nightmare. I know a lot of people ask me every episode. Um, we'll be playing Undead Nightmare after we finish the main story for Red Dead Redemption. Z, how you doing? And hey, Javier, how you doing? Bad Wolf, how you doing tonight? Caspi, do you like do you like Fanta, bro? Is is Fanta a thing in the UK? No, 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 no. See, no, I'm not. I'm not doing the trailers anymore. Um, only because I got demonetized in the last one for some stupid reason. When we did AC3, I got demonetized in that trailer, and then um, I I just didn't do Black Flags trailer. And then people told me not to do Rogue trailer because Rogue trailer has uh story spoilers in it. So I uh. I, I I just didn't do it. Bullshit, Caspi. You're drinking a Fanta right now. There's no way, dude. <laughs> so you guys do got a Fanta in the UK? Is it is it identical? Is it it's like the same thing or Fanta is different in the UK? Oh. Fanta is like the orange, the orange fizzy drink over in the UK. Well, hey, <laughs> it's it's the bootleg Fanta. <laughs> okay, so um, let me, let me check out the less sugar, smaller bottles. Ugh. I mean, it's probably still pretty good. So I think we got to go link up with uh, Reyes here. Uh, see what he has, because I believe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Let's let's go see what Reyes has for us. Fantas, you see Andy. Andy's teaching us some shit right now. 
Fanta started in Germany during the war. Coke bought them out after that. No, she was trying to give me the business. <laughs> Casper's like, yo, my bottle's bigger than Brian's, dude. Casper's like, yo, I, I should have got the two liter. Let's go. I got the two liter. What's up with the gunshots? I don't know who I just shot. Cactus cooler? What is that? Do I think Crush is better than Fanta? And I see. I think Crush, um, because there's Crush, there's Sunkiss, and there's Fanta. I think all of them taste the same. I don't think the drink itself tastes different. I just think that it's a fucking different label, dude. I don't know. Maybe one of these days. Maybe tomorrow, guys. I'll go and I'll buy. I'll buy. A Fanta, a Sunkist, and and, and, a, and a Crush. And I'll drink each one. And I don't think I'll be able to tell the difference. Let's go. I don't think it'll have a distinct difference. Like, you know, like Coke and Pepsi. Coke and Pepsi have a distinct difference. Um, same thing with like Sprite and Sierra Mist. Like those are like really, really different. But when it comes to like orange soda, I feel like all them shits just taste exactly the same. Like no, like Seven Up and Sprite. Yeah, Seven Up and Sprite, they're pretty much the same. Yo, crushed grape is life. I never even heard of Cactus Cooler. That's like people that say, you know, beer tastes different from a can than it does a bottle. I just think it tastes like beer. Alright. I probably just stirred up the chat. Uh, I'm pretty sure that comment just sent the chat into a frenzy. <laughs> from the bottle you get more more beer than you do from the can I implores you See, look at that, Casper. I know we got to hit him up, dude. <laughs> Reyes doesn't seem any better than... Does it mean or does it seem more lawless? <laughs> oh, that's they. Oh, the army caught Reyes. Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> but the gun down, American. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Ay, Dios mío. Was that? Puta Santa Maria. Was that Lucia? This now, friend. You want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we 
fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> Fuck, I forgot how to do it, guys. We're totally getting shot in the face, at least. <laughs> Shit. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronet! Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Leave the speeches to me, Jump. Do at least the prison. Okay, so I take it back. Maybe uh, I thought. I thought what was happening right now was due to Reyes taking over, but it was actually the army that was that was being that savage. So maybe Reyes is a better option. Really, John, with the fucking knife, dude? I'm like, yo, why am I pulling my gun? I'm literally sitting there just waving my knife in the air. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but the Schofield, I believe, is also in... Yeah, that, that gun is also in Red Dead Redemption 2. But I think the reload animation... I don't remember them breaking the gun in half to reload it. Arthur, I, I don't recall him doing that. I felt like he just inserted the, the rounds into the chamber. Trabajando. Literally taking part in the Mexican Revolution right now. Problem is, it's so dark, I can't even see where the machine gun is. Say El Nombre as John Marston. Uh, John Marston. Yeah. Hey, FBM, no problem. I appreciate Vamos, you coming and hanging hermanos. with me. We gotta pick these dudes off a little bit more before we push Look out, the gun and rip us apart.
got that dude three times. There's no way I missed every time. I mean, I can't say there's no way because there's definitely no way. in here in the back. Is uh, Bendejo a bad word? Cabrones. They say a lot of bad words in this game. Well, what does it mean? Somebody tell me. I gotta know what I'm saying when I'm calling people it. You know what I mean? Oh, cabron is technically not a bad word. Oh, so what does it just mean like like an idiot or something like that? That's not a bad word. Oh, it's got a lot of me. <laughs> it's one of those words. <laughs> Here in Chile, it means two things. Well, they want me back on the gap. Shut about 
600 rounds already and hit nobody. Come on, John! Vamonos! Let the prison cabron! Come on, John! Let's get to your They say cabron a lot. It didn't have to be this way, Bill! Wait, that was Bill? Okay, John. John, 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 listen. Okay. That's, that's bad, guys. I'll kill all of you! No aguantamos a traidores! Disable Williamson stage coat. I mean, I don't know if we're going to spare Bill, guys. He's... He's not like Javier at all. Said we all fucked with Abigail. You hear that shit? What the hell are you doing? Find my freedom, pendejo. I cut up, you dumb ape. And get out of the wagon. I put it in. I'm coming out. Don't shoot. Here. Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch wanted you dead. We all dead. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor. You bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred hit. Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. My people are free. Still feel bad to kill. It is all thanks to you, kill Bill. John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She she was very brave. LA Noir? will be missed. Yeah, I actually bought that game. We actually bought that game. Your peasant girl wife to be? Oh, yes, of course. She she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa, 
What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. No more fancy words. No more I implores you. Bill's not imploring anything anymore, guys. Man, it feels shitty, dude. It feels shitty. So where are we supposed- Oh, we gotta head back up to Blackwater. Okay. Uh, um... We haven't been to Blackwater yet. Yeah. Yeah, there's fast travel in the game, yep. <laughs> so that's quite quite a ride right there. Come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 no! Cabron! He called me a cabron, and I don't think that means a good word. I don't, I don't, that, that definitely felt like he was, he was trying to... Well, that literally happened so quick. <laughs> I was just trying to get a ride, guys, and I, I went to the wrong side of the wagon. And I, I, I robbed it instead of uh, asking it for a ride. Um, let me see. Where on the map has a wagon? I don't think Chuparosa has one, no, so I gotta go up here to, uh, no, oh, that doesn't have one. Actually, we come up here, that's not a far ride, actually, to McFarland's Ranch.
think I can actually put a marker on the map and just go anywhere, right? Now that bounty's just in Mexico, right? Oh, back in McFarland's ranch. See, this area is in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it doesn't really have much meaning. And this, you, you know, you meet Bonnie and all that. It's... Come on. Oh, um, let's see. Nope. Come on, hitting all the wrong ones. Why does it keep bringing up that? It's just trying to pause the game, and it keeps bringing up this. It is what it is. Let's go. Yeah. Trying to see on the map where I was, but for some reason, there we go. Jesus. Um. Okay, yeah, so now we're heading up into Great Plains. This is where, uh, you know, up here is where Red Dead Redemption Two takes place. So yeah, we're heading up near Blackwater now. Anton Jensen, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Go. Ashes, how you doing? Scooter, thank you for the sub. Who the fuck still plays the story? Yo. Hey, CJ, guess you'd never believe this, but I've never played this. I think I was in Afghanistan the year that this came out. Sabrina, how you doing? Cadence, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, so the layout of Blackwater is... Pretty identical to how it was in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, also. Hello there.
That building there wasn't built. man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that for the right price? Now, this individual's had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. The sooner you find him, the better. Family boy, thank you so much for the sub. And Robert, how you doing? Are we literally about to blackmail some politician with some? What do you want? Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns. Why, that no good lying back stabbing bastard. I like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Uh. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted. Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. <sighs> Arthur couldn't have done it better himself. Bears one another burdens. Upstairs on the right. One fourteen. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some 
Important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Think, sir? Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. Whoa. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. What's a nice looking gun? I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> Yo, Mr. West Dickens almost. Four, <laughs> 345. Uh, 347. 348. Three. of the serendipity, Mr. Ford. What's going on with you? Mister? The wreck? Isn't this the serendipity? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Hold on, one sec, guys. Let me go take my dog real quick. Also, I had to get the tums. He needed to take a Pinkerton. Now we have uh, my my son's friends are in the house, so 
He hears them running like around. Say, sir, He's barking stake, and stuff. The smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique His cars don't seem that. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth. And it's strange you should like, say it that, doesn't Mr. seem Marston, that fast. Because according to my files, you are the horse son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderman, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. She's running well. Serendipity Wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. <clears throat> Wanna check out that high powered pistol? Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I hope Dutch has the same voice act. I'm like, I'm look, I'm really excited to hear his voice again. You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lives. Would that area over there be roads? Yeah, because roads was like over. Uh, it was, I mean, it was. I think it was further across the water than this, but yeah. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Me? So this looks like the 1899, doesn't it? That that you get in Red Dead Redemption One. Or RDR2? Hurry, there's somebody up there. Just fucking relax, dude. Ah! Sounds like a young kid. Dude, I don't know how to get up there, so. There's that.
Yo, the oh, so wicked ass. Is this the Blackwater heist boat from Red Dead Redemption 2? I'll take it you're asking if it was the one from the failed heist, right? That's a good question. Does anybody uh, in chat know the answer to that question? As you guys know, the, the gang had a failed heist. Okay, we Somebody up there with like a bag. Yeah, true, because this boat would have to be crashed here in Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you guys come on the southern part of the map here, is that boat there? It's not there in Red Dead 2? Yeah, so then it's probably not. Not Dutch, Good dude. God, that's her informant. Nostis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Christ the Lord! Devil! Come on, we need to get him to safety. Hey, guys! Whoa! Yeah, but a bunch of women! Unbelievable! Keep going! Look, there they are! You Yo, this gun shoots so fast. Keep moving, you coward! Reminds me a lot of uh, the 1899s and RDR2. Those guns are quick. The army is on its way. What the hell's happening here? Now let's go. We need to get the hell off this boat. Push forward, you fool! Dude, why are you I'll just you non-stop down. talking that shit? Separate my soul from my body, dude. guy still alive? It's kind of looking a little dangly, you know what I mean? God's name is going on. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them.
twice the lie. What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped <laughs> us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary, or some such. You shut your mouth! Like, you'd think they would have a faster car, dude. Try to rob a bank with this. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. Got a whole new fucking gang now, dude. Plus, I go to mark somebody. The guy shoots him dead. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. <laughs> Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see <laughs> my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward! You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is Train enjoying thank you for the a sub. much needed vacation. And in far more luxurious <coughs> surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? 
Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Mm. Beat up pretty good. We'll mm. send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. We need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. An agent of the devil. All right, McDougal. McDougal. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ha <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical <laughs> in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Uh, would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, <laughs> both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. So the thing is, is uh, Dutch does have a way to turn people on his side. Remember, a he did it with the natives in a RDR too. And a savage. <laughs> What a strange trinity we make. Follow me. Come on. Easy. Is it me or is this no, native dude kind of sound like Dutch? We have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland. You gotta kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderland fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse Come integration on. or regressive acculturation that... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. 
wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. <laughs> what a noble Brian beast. J, thank you so much I for the sub. Him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who I, don't know, I don't know why, guys. It sounds like... it. it that, that guy sounds like Dutch Vanderlip. Like the same voice actor, but just trying to sound like he doesn't know how to speak English. Or is it just me? It might just be me that hears that. And thank you, everybody, for almost 200 likes on the stream. Die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. It's this way, mister. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Master. Enjoy it while you it still is, can. It is the so same voice actor. Cut down all of these trees. I wonder how many people catch Me? on to that. Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Some snow? here and climb the rest of the way remarkable i'm afraid i don't really have much of a head for heights more of a, a head for highs <laughs> well, well anyway i'm sure nastas will help you i must be on my way i've got work to do thanks for the help goodbye gentlemen enjoy yourselves Let's get Where are we right now? Okay, yeah, so we're like way north. Now I feel like this part of West Elizabeth in in Red Dead Redemption 2, like the snow is obviously way, way further north. This is like when you start getting into like the strawberry region, isn't it? Or is strawberry over in like this no, yeah, because yeah, the snow is way north north of this, so they definitely expanded the map quite a bit. In, mister. Just a different season. That makes sense, yeah. Another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. <laughs> that dude's just not even trying to not sound like that. It's like, that's a good jump. Um, that's crazy. Play Red Dead Revolver. Is Red Dead Revolver like the same, the first ever Red Dead game?
I think there's a path through this cave. Good. This should save us some time. What are you doing, mister? This way! <laughs> it was a black finger, guys. From Mad Max. All right, Chum's cousin. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Well, that happened. I would go now, mister, before somebody Rel sees you. Relax, dude, I'm trying. I just fell down the fucking mountain. Oh, we're supposed to go down, not up? You don't want to miss your chance. I'll be fine. Was that John grunting or a bit? That's recruited animals to the cause. Come on. Let's only, if going. only if all if only these people understood Dutch's plans. I don't know about that, Pedro. <laughs> How you doing today?
Now you gotta make sure, guys. I mess around and don't shoot it enough times, and then boom, I'm dead, you know? So it's, it's, it's always better to, you know, to double tap three times. <laughs> Dutch up here recruiting everything. Never know. Dutch might just have all the animals working for him. He had a bear. He had a cougar. That eagle is probably going to try to... I watched a video of an eagle grab a, a, a person and try to throw him off a fucking mountain. I think that's probably what that eagle was going to do. Can never be too, too careful, you know what I mean? Seriously, dude. No, we're playing Madison tomorrow. It's on the stream schedule. If you guys haven't seen the streams, the stream schedule yet, it's it is on my YouTube community page. It's the schedule for the whole week. Is that Dutch? Savage, dude. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston! Champion, thank you for the sub. Put that stuff away! You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again... <laughs> <clears throat> I have some dirty work to do later. I don't mind. Yo, Dutch straight sniped us, guys. Legitimately sniped us. Hello there.
Okay, so is this a uh, room in this town? Yep. Help! After help! Some mutts he'll just stole my horse. Pony up and stop him. No. a good time is right here not me my dear hi upstairs you know that engine who's always in the saloon Clever time with the three months. How you doing? Thank you so much. I know John just has one of them faces. They just keep trying to throw it at him. They just keep trying to hook John up with the goods. So I think we'll go see what the detectives want. But at least we know where Dutch is. I'm sorry, pal. But it's a matter of actually getting in that place, you know what I mean? Hey, John, just fucking up everything. I always forget to do that Russian fill my ammo at the chest out. I'll hit it the next time we go there. We're actually doing pretty good on ammo now though right now. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fella? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. What? Door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitch them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Nobody shoots until I say. Don't shoot! That man is a hostage! The bastards kill him! Put fire! Didn't you say wait till them they come out? Turn the windows! Pick them off!
Head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. This is one of Dutch's plans. So now, hey, hey, so now we're seeing the other side of Dutch's plans and how them shits are terrible. <laughs> we can take them. Come on, let's get in there! You realize I'm Guy Crossfield, right? Marston, shoot the door open! Jesus Christ! Move in! Get your butt. Keep an eye out for civilians! I'll give you some! Oh, oh, oh. I'm playing! Oh, they folded my ass. Let's move! They'll cover the windows from up top! This way! Shoot the lock off that door! What in the hell? Now! We need to get in there! Let's go! Watch out, Ross! Mike, thank you so much for the sub. What do you mean the hostage? I didn't even get a chance to put. All right, bro. I see how it is. Come on, let's get in there. Marston, shoot the door open. Holy shit! Move in. Keep an eye out for civilians. Hold me. Definitely thinking for the sub. See you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. 
I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Get on your horses. I just saw Dutch make a run for it. Yeah. Come on, come on. So that's what Dutch has become, guys? Blue Dog, thank you so much for the sub. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn and Skip. Killing Tyler, I appreciate that. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot. Whoa. How many men does Dutch have? Let's go! What is this? Follow me! Activated. Thank you 
so much. I really do appreciate the super chat. Holy shit. Thank you. That is huge. How you doing today? Much love. God bless. Definitely had enough men there to stall us. Yo, Dutch is like calm now. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, I would shoot Dutch. Show, Fuck that, dude. Battle. I know I shall. <laughs> Yo, I, I would I would shoot him. I think Dutch is disgusting. He's an animal. Like he just shot that poor woman in there for no reason. Legit. Makes no sense. Like, he's getting he's getting up there in Micah territory, guys. For me, I mean, Mike is still worse, but D Dutch is getting up there in, in my uh, in my book. My bad, dude. That varies in Apollo Razor will give you the gifts of a new life. I guarantee. I didn't I didn't expect to see this out of Dutch guys in this game. I I honestly thought it was gonna be kinda hard to kill him. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is gonna be freaking shitty trying to trying to have to even even after everything that happened in, in RDR2. Like, it's still Dutch, you know what I mean? But nah, he's he he definitely crossed the line. He definitely crossed the line. And what I, uh, you, you mean like graphically? I haven't touched anything graphically. What you see is, this is just what it is. Yeah, he shot another woman just now, like some poor innocent secretary. He could have just pushed her into us, you know what I mean, and and ran out the same. He didn't have to shoot her, or maybe the shot was the shock and awe of him shooting her kind of made us pause for. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sam I am 888 donated ten dollars. Shoot Dutch once for me. I got you, Sam. Got you. Thank you so much for the ten. I do appreciate it. What time is it right now? Okay, literally mission should be going live here any second. Sir, it's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall. Mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir. I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. I'm just playing the P. This is just the PlayStation 3 version of uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, the reason why it might look super, super clean to you guys is um, my bit rate is like 18,000. So it is like. It's pretty, pretty smooth. Like even what you guys see on the on the screen for the video playback isn't even as good as like what I see. Like I actually see lesser graphics playing the game. Colors are completely different. Um, then, then, then what you guys? Can you see the difference, babe? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, professor. I've never been so excited in all my life. It's 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 a it's a wicked big difference. I think it's just my bit rate though that does it. Hello there. How can you be so lackadaisical about this? This is it. <laughs> Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastos has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, robot, if I'm honest. Ro <laughs> robot a mastery Dutch. of basic English and openness to rational discussion is nothing short of reassuring. You see, all those years of research were worth it. Isn't it fascinating? Robot Dutch. I've actually noticed that your skull is very Caucasian in form. Do I think they're going to make an RDR 3? I don't know. I, I wish. I'd rather you didn't. So many questions. Have humans evolved into competing subspecies? Why is the white man civilized more quickly? Why does the stuff here dance for rain and sacrifice deer to a myriad of false idols? You're starting to offend Bear, shoot it! Shoot it! Anger her. Oh, you come. Thank heavens! Now let's get out of here! That was a big ass bear. Robot oh, Dutch is gonna have something to say about God. that. I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. That bear showed no signs of aggression. Most likely would have ignored us and moved on. Ignored oh, us. Very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. But I, sir. This is it. Robot Dutch is pissed, dude. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone.
Oh, we're definitely playing Undead Nightmare. Yep. I don't know how much longer we have in this, but um, depending on how long the original the story of RDR One is, we might be playing Undead Nightmare this week. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us. We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I, well, well, I, well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. Do something, Robot we Dutch. Come in peace. Robot Dutch, do something. Who is he says, Boston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, shit! Damn, Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down, now! They killed the stars! Robot Dutch is dead, oh, just like that. You have to get us out of here! Just keep your head down! You ain't very frightened for elbows! Come on, keep me alone in here, will you? I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. Now, Ron, thank you guys for over 250 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Come on, let's let's get that R.I.P. in the chat for Robot Dutch. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. God, I he was feel young. Terrible. My head is pounding. We barely knew him. Shot will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Stop moaning and ride. It's not be happening. of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. I'll have a good night. Thank you so much for popping in and hanging out. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I should be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor.
nothing I can do about it. I always make extra rounds. Forgive me, miss. Walk on in the jammies. The violence in this town. These cards are ready for your hand. See what time was it? What time did that say we had a report? What time did I say we had a report? Yo, know, maybe we will play a hand, hand of poker. Oh, this ain't poker. This is blackjack. Fifty dollar buy-in. You know that engine who's always in the saloon? Six p.m. Yeah, we got some time. So uh, let's win some money, guys. All right, here we go. I'm feeling awful cold. Warm me up. What, 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 what's happening? Oh, I'm shit. I'm take a few days off and go hunting that giant bull. Old um, man Carruthers keeps 101 cats in that hellhole. The stink in there. Damn. Well, I mean, I had blackjack too, so. That's what I like to see. That's one take on a matter for sure. Well, hello. I keep telling these young Damn, I got a twenty yo. I'm getting the monster hands. I'm a busy man. You must understand. Hello. Man, we're gonna obviously stay. I could split, guys. And try to win. I saw it. I was thinking about splitting, but I think I might just stay. Because I feel like if I split, I'm definitely going to lose. Look after yourself, Missy. Hello. We'll just stay. I think I'll stay. He's got 20 also. All three of us got 20? There it is, 13. He's going to hit. Miss. Bust. What? That Alex T. Davenport Eradicator soap will strip hmm. rhyme from an anvil. All Believe right. me. Am I rocking another 20? No, we'll split. Are you split. Yo, I'm rocking two 20s. That's enough. Mm, that's what 13 or 18 we'll stay well, dancing, drinking, Sorry. Hey. Else. yep hit me interesting someone told me the mayor likes to dabble in opium Everything okay? a lot of Come dabble on, you win I did. Bye. I'll be here with the six months bus stream when you get to play uh when you're gonna uh so the Batman games I don't know when we'll be getting around to those Javier they are on the list but they they were like a, a they were put on the list recently so there's a lot of games ahead of them I feel like I'm being cheated guys like what the fuck there's no way like I'm not even
my ass pinned down good. Fucking cheated me, dude. All right, what time is it? Is that 9 a.m.? Or 9 at night? You look like a black -jack Seems like... Hello. Definitely in the morning. Maybe we'll be better off oh, man, playing poker. I won't... What's the buy in? Hundred dollars! Couple of hands couldn't hurt. Maybe we'll be better at poker, cause them dudes were fucking cheating, man. That you you that dealer was cheating. There's no way anybody has that kind of luck. Like where you could just pop out 21 like every time. Like they're crazy. Why are these cards sticky? <laughs> what? I could get real lucky on this hand. I could. Well, hello. Let's up it a bit, shall we? In the call? Damn, somebody's just raised that shit up. I call that. That's uh, shitty hand off. I'm in. Wake me up. When Woo! You say this Bluffed him out, guys. Bluffed him out. Nice, nice, nice. Those were the cards I was hoping for. Not bad. I'll raise you. There's some bite in this old dog yet. Hello there. Hey, I got a pair. Oh, oh. this will be an interesting one. Oh. Hello. Got a nothing. Got a pair of nothing. Check. I'm not ready to get out yet. Fold. I'm watching you. How you doing? Always make them pay to play, guys. You ain't much fun. Choose. Count me in. Ain't you aggressive, partner? I'll call that. Damn. Sure. How about I make things interesting? What? You betcha. Oh. Yeah, beat him. Main pot. Jackson twos. Hope my luck turns next hand. You got all my chips. At least, well, at least I won the split pot. Playing. No funny dealing now. 
We're not down by much. We're good. We're good. Who invited the lady? Ma. You like talking to Oma. Are we going to be men about this? Well, that's interesting. So I got a pair of Jackson 6. Jackson 6 is already. Okay. I'll place a bet. Of course, everybody folds on when I actually have a hand. Wait, this is a big one. I'm old enough to take a few risks. Call you. So I got a pair of kings. Let's see if we can get people to bet. Awesome. Hello there. Sorry, buddy. I think you wanted this one. Four. Nothing on the straight. I still got the pair of kings though, so we're gonna go. We're gonna bet a little big. We'll try to scare everybody out. Or bet. I'm in. All right then. I'll raise him again. Why don't we raise the stakes a little? What the hell? Well, well. I can't like Kamutoga. I just ain't getting the cards. Well, that didn't go well. I don't like an empty seated poker table. Care to fill it? I hope I find you bad. I feel like I'm being I'm I'm being swindled, guys. Man by the name of Marston. Why? That Barrington Apollo Razor will give you the cheeks of a new look like a blackjack player. Yeah, let's try this one more time. We got time. Okay, here we go. One of those horseless carriages just ran over a Chinaman. I saw it. Why is my man wearing a a, a bingo visor? When, this had to have been before bingo visors even existed. There's no way, dude. There's no way. You know that engine who's always in the saloon was a cheap one, a big one. You want me to keep it the 60 seconds? <laughs> Someone told me the serendipity is gonna be Uh should I hit at fifteen? What? Card. Seventeen's good enough for me. Yep, hit me. That's it. Someone told me the mayor likes to dabble That's in opium. Yours. A lot of dabble. Hello. How does this man get high cards every single time? Davenport Eradicator Soap will strip rhyme from an anvil. Believe me. Hit. Don't take my card now. Sticking. Ooh. 19. There it is. See, guys, I'm... We won. We won a hand. We won a hand. Give me a card. I think I soiled my britches listening to you talk. Ooh. I'll stand. Now that I'm cheating. Apollo Razor will you give sure you the are cowboy. Input. I guarantee. 18, of course. I got 20. That one's mine. There it is. Come 
on it. Yo, I'm just on. I'm on the flow right now, guys. I'll stay. Yep. Hit me. All that, all that dealer luck is is is, is lined up on me right now. Good. You're in. Old man Carruthers keeps a hundred and one cats in that hell hole. The stink. So I'm sitting at what eleven? Yeah. One more. Seventeen. Stand. My God. You're pathetic, ain't you? Well, it will all come out in the wash. We're doing much better this time. I think it, I think the game learned their lesson. Like, yeah, we we're not going to cheat this guy anymore. Sitting at, what, 16? Hey, hello there. Hi. Tyrants overthrown in Mexico. Read the Can I double down? There we go. Double down. Come on. Oh, hi. Stick you know that engine who's always in the saloon? Was a chief one. Oh. Of course you... Guys, I've literally won like every single hand. How you doing? Hi there. Literally won like every single hand. Let's clean this dealer out. Sitting at 20. I'm good. Do you piss sitting down? Why, hello. Bust. I don't believe it. That Alex T. Davenport Eradicator soap will strip grime from an anvil. Believe me. Let him have that one. You look like you haven't been pumped for quite a while. Interesting. Very interesting. Hit me. God bless. Bye bye now. Good luck to you. I'm going to stay. Hit. I'm staying put. I bet you're behind smells as good as your team. Can I help? Hello, my child. I hear that John Marshall. I don't bother with that. Nothing but a red ass water. Were they talking that shit back there? Someone told me the mayor likes to dabble in opium. A lot of dabble. Hmm. Why, hello. All right. Sabrina, thank you for hanging out. Oh, why'd I hit? Damn it. I meant, I just hit the wrong button. I would have lost anyway. Yes. Another card, please. Reckon I'll split. I'm staying put. Hi there. Sticking. You got some luck, mister. Old man Carruthers with 701 hats that in that hellhole. Greetings. The stinking man. Greetings. It don't make no sense, man. Makes no sense. Ben, how you doing? That was ridiculous, guys. That was ridiculous. I mean, I won some good hands, but I feel like I actually had to try to win. This dude was just freaking cheating, man. No need for that, partner. Please beg for his forgiveness. Well, now. 
three steps toward a little taller now that you're here. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir, yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my teacher? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? What? Hello, Dutch. I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the Professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We are thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only Welcome we're to fighting Haiti, guys. for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here? so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Here comes the day for that. Do something! He's going to kill me! Stay back! Or the teacher gets hurt! The mother's... My God, you took your sweet time! You ain't very frightened for how long? Here, John, grab this! He dropped his rifle! Christ alive! How many are there? We're completely surrounded!
out of black water. Yeah. Head for Manzanita Post. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. There we go. Come on. Dutch is pretty brave though, just walks right into black water. Like, like it is nothing to him. And guys, thank you for almost 300 likes. I do appreciate it. What do I have to do? No! Here they come again, Austin! All right, get us out of this hell hole. Yeah. Right to the station. I'm not staying in this place a minute longer. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West, the romance, the honor, the nobility. And it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. It's a shit, man. My research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. All right, so we got... The G-Man mission back up. But I think this is a good spot to end for tonight. Um, like I said, we'll end here, and then uh, next episode we'll continue playing. I don't know how many episodes I have left. We might have, like, what, maybe, what would you guys say, two? Two episodes of RDR? What, or do you think we could finish the main story next episode?
one. Well, that's good then if we can finish it. Yeah, next episode. That'd be that'd be pretty legit. And then, like I said, once we beat um, Red Dead Redemption 1, we're going to be jumping in and doing the Undead Nightmare, uh, like, DLC. Yeah, we'll do the Undead Nightmare DLC, and then we'll go from there. But thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the streams. Uh, so our schedule is posted on Discord. It's also posted on my YouTube community channel page. So if you go to my main channel, you click on community, you'll see my... Uh, my post that I made that has my uh, new stream schedule. So tomorrow will be the first day of the actual schedule. So we'll be going live at 11 uh, in the morning, Eastern standard time, which is exactly 12 hours from right now. Um, so hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys there uh, tomorrow. I think we have Zomboid mafia and Madison on the schedule. So it's going to be a good time. Good time. But thank you for all the likes on the stream tonight. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this. If you guys have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help out. And other than that, you all have a good night and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.